What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here and you like the video, hit that subscribe button. So today, or this morning I guess you could say, uh, might be one of the last times I get out to this lake. Um, as you can see the weeds are already starting to take over and it's only the middle of May so it's just gonna get worse and worse but uh, Hopefully the, the bass aren't quite spawning yet, but it's uh, gonna be a sunny one out today. It's gonna be about 80 degrees. Um, it's Mother's Day too. Uh, but yeah, it's calm right now. Wind's gonna pick up a little bit, but uh, we're gonna see if we can get out here and catch some fish before that happens. And uh, yeah, so it's supposed to be sunny. Um, but it's about six o'clock almost and it's about 50 degrees out right now. So see what we can do. Um, gonna be trying out some new fishing line that I picked up. Kind of interesting. It is the Sagar uh, Basics, the fluorocarbon. So I have that on a spinning rod, which is a leader I'm gonna be using it for. And then I have it on a bait caster too. 10 bucks. Um, it's a 10 pound line, uh, going to be throwing that around today and testing it out. See if it's, see, uh, what kind of quality it is for $10. I mean, you can't beat the price, but, uh, but does it, uh, hold up? Um, one of the big, uh, complaints I heard on reviews is, uh, the strength, the not strength of it was one of the biggest downfalls. So we'll test it out today and, uh, hopefully we can get on some fish maybe, but, uh, stay tuned and see what we can do. All right, guys. So like I said, I tied a leader with that uh, fluorocarbon on here. And uh, this is suffix. I think it's 20 pound uh, high vis. We're throwing this on the Shimano setup, the Celis and the uh, Nexave reel, spinning reel. And uh, yeah, so let's see if we can catch some fish right off here, the, the launch maybe, where it's not too weedy. See, there'd be one hiding over there. We're on the board already. Not a big one, but we'll take you, buddy. All right. So I'm also using this, uh, these are a dollar bait holder hooks from Walmart. You get 15 for a buck. <laughs> And then these are the cream worms that are, I think they're 25 cents a piece about. So pretty cheap setup. I got $10 line. What's whatever 15 or a dollar divided by 15 is five cents, something like that. A little bit over five cents and then 25 cent worm. So can't beat that price. Cool. First fish on the board. So you just let him sit, I guess. I think gun hooked that guy to death. Man, he's fighting good too. I don't think he's that big. I got a bunch of salad on him. All right. <laughs> just letting that guy sit. Not, not bad either. They are snacking today, guys. Gotta be a big one somewhere, right? All right. 
another one in the boat. Just a little snag around that little branch that I saw coming a mile away, but I went for it anyway. in these logs here. Get up here. Get up here, buddy. Ugh. Right. A little bit bigger, I think, maybe. Cool. <laughs> next, very next cast. I'll take it. I will take it. It's a good sign, man. It's a good sign. You know, I was out here last Mother's Day last year, the same lake. It was rainy and gross out, but they were hitting pretty hard that day. And that was in the middle of the day, so cool. Let's see if we can get another one in this. this little, I'm throwing it around this little down tree here. So two for two. Let's see if there's another one hiding over there. That one took way too long. A little guy too. Get in here. Hopefully I'm not down his gullet. Oh, not too bad. I knew there'd be one over here. Little ones are out to play today. All right. Knew there wouldn't be. I knew there'd be one hiding over here in this stuff. Am I going the wrong way or right way? I can never tell. Is that loose? Is the juice loose? A little bit too far up in here. Knew that was gonna happen. Son of a Dang it. Frickin' knew it. Well, if there was any fish over here now, there's not any more. Basically dead stick in that one. Oh. Was reeling it in and he hit it. Ooh, that's a pike. Wow, I haven't caught one of those in, out of here in a long time. <laughs> well, definitely gonna have to retie now. Wow, it's been years since I've caught one one of these out of here. Yeah, buddy, I got you. No, I knew that was gonna happen. There goes my coffee. I didn't even think there was pike in here anymore. It's been a long time. Not. Was, come on, Michael. I was just reeling the back end and he hit that thing. Oh, little pike. Little guy, though. And I'm going back into the. Hands all slimy. Wow, it has been a long time since I've caught a pike out of this lake. Actually, I don't think I've ever caught one out of this side. I didn't think they were here anymore. Apparently, they are. 
I don't know, I didn't get that guy real, he didn't hit my floor real bad. He hit it when I was reeling it back, so maybe he's not that bad. We'll give it a go. Hands nice and slimy, and I spilled my coffee. All right, well, let's see if we can get a, a bass over here. Oh, yeah, there's something there. Oh, that's a better one. Stay down, buddy. I know what you're thinking. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Get in the boat. Get out of here. Get in here, buddy. All right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there we go. All right. No, there's bigger ones in here. Nice. Yep, I might have to hit this little, this little shoreline here. More of these guys are hiding. Very cool. See you later. So I've been using this same worm and it's starting to rip now but i think i can rehook it in a different spot and maybe keep it going a little bit longer but how many fish is that off of a a nickel hook a 25 cent worm oh now i'm floating into the shore here yeah i might have to head on down the shoreline a little bit they're biting pretty good over here mother's day must be the the day you know <laughs> Let's get back out there, though. Oh, come on. The little guy. There he is. Ow, freaking heat. Maybe a decent one too. Not bad. I'll take you. Get in here, buddy. All right. It's definitely the second biggest of the day. Gotcha, all right. Decent, decent. That's the guy who's been playing with me, I think. All right, not bad. I'll take you. All right. Yeah, he was toying with me this whole time, I think. I don't know. Let's see if I can catch another one back here, maybe. Maybe over here? <sighs> Just stinks, I gotta use my little paddle to get through back here. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go over here, give that a break.
Take it. Swallow that too far, did you? Just wanted to make sure you had it. No, we're good. Yeah, I might have to go over to that little shore edge. Paddle my way over there, I guess. I had you good. All right. Go back to where you were. I'm gonna take my, my boots off. Put my shoes back on. Probably dump that coffee out before I spill it more. Man, if the little weed edge wasn't here, be a lot better. Let's see if my trolling motor can navigate through this crap. All right, guys. So while I'm heading to the next spot, this is what I am using today, and I've only I've been using the same hook all morning, and this is the Ozark Trail Walmart brand, size one. You get 15 of these for a buck. And I've probably caught a dozen fish, maybe 10, 12 fish on them. And they're hooking up pretty good. I just lost that last one. Uh, that was the first one I've actually uh, didn't land. So uh, doing pretty good for a dollar. I mean, what is that? I don't know, five or six cents a piece maybe. And then my other discount uh, item is the cream. You can also find these at Walmart. This is $1.25 for a pack of five. So 25 cents with tax. I kind of think it came out to like 130 or something like that, somewhere around there. So not bad. And uh, yeah, caught, I don't know how many fish on that, just that one worm. They're very durable. I mean, I've used really more expensive uh, stick baits and these ones have lasted longer than some of them that I've used the higher price ones so go out and try them out uh, pretty good deal so for what is that under three dollars uh, got everything you need to catch catch some bass so uh, hopefully you can get on some more we'll see All right, one more Oh, come on, that's a good one. Stay down, dude. Oh, it keeps turning. <laughs> knew there'd be a decent one over here that was gonna be my last cast too alrighty lost my worm and I'm up on shore man I was basically just dead stick in that just cast it out let it sit nice finally a decent one over here all right forget how much these things fight in this lake. Man, now I might not leave. Whew. It's a good one. Pulled my boat all over the place. A little boat. Well, I'm gonna paddle back out a little bit because I really don't want to be fighting this close to shore, but sweet. That's a pretty decent one. Fighting good too. 
Come on, get out of the weeds. Yeah. Get in here. Get in the boat. Whoa. Did I go at you? I don't know. Uh, a little bit. All right. Look at that guy. Oh, this might be a little bit easier. The hook is actually upside down. Come on, if I could just get a good freaking grip. Not a good grip either. Almost out. Come on. You're almost there. Almost. There. Gotcha. All right. Bleeding a little bit, but it's not the gills, it's just the tummy. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to find a new spot for this. There need to be some hiding over here. They're super shallow today, like super shallow. Why the wind's down. All right, guys. Well, I gotta head out, but it's been a real, real decent morning. I don't know, something about Mother's Day usually uh, make the fish bite for some reason, but uh, hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, been fishing these Ozark Trail. They're just bait holder hooks for a dollar. My only issue is, is they're probably gonna rust pretty darn easily. Um, but what do you expect from a dollar hook? But they, they did pretty well for being so cheap. And uh, also that $10 uh, fluorocarbon from uh, Seagar uh, held up pretty well too. Um, way beyond my expectations. Didn't have any break-offs. Um, didn't have any any wind knots or anything like that. Uh, real low memory, strains out pretty well, and uh, did the job. So yeah, go check that out. Uh, it was $9.99 or $10.99, somewhere around there. Either way, it's dirt cheap for 200, 200 yards. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, uh, smash that subscribe button and uh, go check out some of my other ones, and we will see you on the next one.